So, today is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and I hope everybody had a pleasant day yesterday. The wife and I enjoyed ourselves. It was just the two of us and our five boys. And for those of you who know us, when I say five boys, I mean I, our five boys. There's Tucker, there's Bear, there's Lance, there's Duffy, and there's Nikki. Those are our five boys. Uh, we had dinner. We relaxed. We did some yard work, which is also at times relaxing, sometimes a, not so, but uh, it was a pleasant day. All right, so anyway, we got the tower put together. So we're all done there. It's all lube, greased, the turbines on it, it's wired, the wire's ready to drop. Well, the wire's ready to drop. I just got a wire tie it to a few places. Uh, it's wire tied up on the top. Um, so I don't have to worry about it hanging or putting any stress inside. Then it, once it drops and I know where I'm feeding it, then I'll wire tie the rest of it. So uh, it's getting a little late today to do it. It's 4 o'clock. Uh, and once I start, I want to be able to at least get it mounted and finished. So what I'm going to do is at least get the brackets made. And then uh, today is what? Uh, Friday? Yeah, so tomorrow. Uh, if it doesn't pour rain, uh, I'll get the tower up and the solar panel up. So, now the solar panel I'll get up and wired. However, I won't be able to hook it up until I get the regulator. Because otherwise it would just burn out the batteries. So, so we're getting there a little bit at a time. And the good weather is definitely helping because it's giving me a chance to catch up. Alright, so I need another couple hours to get that wood off there and uh, split this up a little bit because I don't have to split that by hand luckily enough though there's not a lot there two is that it's like three years old because it's been down so uh, it should be pretty easy to split so and I start char bleh, 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 sharpened up the saws that reminds me I gotta get this axe over here because I want to polish it up and sharpen it it's a little dirty and uh, makes it a little tougher when you're trying to get it out of the wood. So let me uh, sharpen it up and clean it up a little bit. Put a little spit shine on it so that it'll uh, split and not stick as much. So, all right. So, with that being said, we are here now here's that little drop cam now I gotta tell you a story about this that drop cam is a pain in the ass I don't keep it in my house anymore only because I was having a problem with it when I called tech support I was talking with them about it the woman was no help whatsoever and during the time that I was talking to her about it all of a sudden I started seeing somebody else's living room on my phone so I'm on my phone watching what my camera supposedly is showing me and the next thing I know I'm seeing somebody else's living room. I have no idea whose living room, but it wasn't mine. Right? And I know it was nobody locally. I mean it could have been anybody in the world. Uh, and there was nobody home because it was during the day. So that tells me they were both working. Now I didn't see anything to identify anybody or any place or any state or country or anything. Um, so I couldn't tell there and uh, later on in the evening I went back to see because if there was somebody there I was going to try to either listen to a radio station or or see if somebody mentions a name or something to help me zero in on it. Meanwhile I turned it over to the police department let them work on it so I didn't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, so anyway I took mine and I put it outside because uh, it was protected though but this way I was able to look out back and and not have a problem well all of a sudden it stops working now this is a $200 camera yeah? and to me it's a $200 piece of shit so uh, so so much for that now I also have the Samsung 
which is also a high def, like $200 camera. Now that one isn't too bad when it does, it works most of the time. I can't say that it doesn't work. Right now I can get it work on my phone, but the computer, it stopped working on the computer for some reason. Um, probably my antivirus is just locking out the program. That's not a big deal. Uh, and it also takes an SD card. See, this one, the drop cam, doesn't take an SD card. They want you to rent a monthly VIG from them. The other one, the Samsung, takes an SD card, so you can hit record whenever you want. You can have it set up for motion, so it automatically start recording at a certain motion. Uh, has hot zones you can set up. So the, the Samsung, by, by far, in my opinion, is better than a drop cam. Now, out of all of them, this one, I think, is the best. This was 120 bucks on Amazon. It does pan, tilt, night vision. It has a plug in the back for microphone and speakers. Also has an SD card in the back. So it does everything plus, because that one pan and tilts, uh, that the other ones do. So it's, it's far better in my opinion. It gives me a whole lot more uh, for a whole lot less. The only problem that there is with it right now is their app is a pain in the ass to install. But you get them on the phone and they'll walk you through it and, and help you get it set up. So it's not a big deal. Uh, I always say if you're going to set up the app, there's a point in time where you come to where it wants a name and password. And you'll see uh, admin there. You know what? Leave it admin on both password and name. Uh, until you get it set up then you can change your password and name once you get it running and That way it seems to work the best now if you have a problem and it doesn't set up right You actually have to uninstall the program and reinstall it again the app So it has a little bit of an app issue the app issue <laughs> app issue However, they are working on that uh, and they may have even cleared it up by now. I don't know uh, and they know they have an issue with the app and they are working on it But I'm also thinking about ordering another one of those because I like that camera for 120 bucks Amcrest um, And when you set it up, you don't have to put in your pass or your serial numbers on it or anything Because when you got the app it comes to a point where you just hit a button and you put your phone up to it Take the picture and that sets up most of your serial numbers and everything so, but it's definitely a nice little camera. From where it is now, I can pan from there, which is right behind it, as you can see, all the way around, but plus up and down, all the way around to there, which is basically the other side of the camera. All right? And plus, like I say, up and down. So it's a nice little camera for 120 bucks. Now, I don't think it's waterproof or water resistant. I don't think it's going to be a good camera to put on the outside. Uh, I am going to call them and ask them a little bit more about that. But if not, I was thinking about taking it and mounting it on the window here looking out. However, sometimes the night, the, the, might, the night vision will reflect on the window and it, and it just bleaches it out so you can't see it. So, you know, that kind of a problem there when you want to shoot it through a window and use it for night vision because the night vision like I say just brightens it right out and bleaches it out on you so you can't see out all right guys I'm gonna go in catch you later